Hey guys, welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. We're continuing on with case number five, the Kew Gardens drama. Now a little something something I want to mention to you right before we start this one. I'm a little frustrated with it. Um, actually, I'm quite frustrated with it. Um, I'm actually, I've already beat this. Uh, I beat it about a little more than a week ago. I can't remember when exactly. Maybe actually more than a week. It's almost two weeks ago or so, roughly. A week and a half ago, let's just say. And... Um, the reason for that was I actually be I've already done the game now that I think about it. I've completed the game. But unfortunately, this particular mission, uh, the gameplay got somehow corrupted. There were issues with it. Vegas would have nothing of it, even though like uh, media players were having no problem playing it. Uh, it w I wouldn't wasn't able to edit it. It would make any sort of editing program crash. I did everything I could to get it out. It's beyond repair. Trust me. I've tried everything I could, so I have to redo it. So I know who the I know what what the correct choices are. I know who did what. Uh, maybe that'll speed things along with this one because I ended up playing it for a long time. But I was really hoping I wasn't able to do it. So or redo it. But uh, looks like we're gonna have to. So I apologize in advance. Nothing is as genuine. I've been having a few issues with my Elgato. So anyway, let's get started. Sucks ass. Let's just get it done. Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever's going on? <coughs> uh, hello, Watson. You're early. Uh, did you kill all of your patients? What? Holmes, where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. They're domestic bees. Apis mellifera. Such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yes, but nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well... I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, however did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. Okay, so let's head on over to the Kew Gardens. Investigate a plant theft. Or is it that simple? Do we know this? By the way, I, ha I am sick, in case you're wondering. <laughs> You'll notice that in the Alien videos as well. Just goes to show you how like late I am with re-recording this. Finished Alien already and everything. Uh, I was just doing... I really, really didn't want to re-record this one. Just because it was so long, you know. But like I said, perhaps with my knowledge of what I need to find now, I can... Uh, Speed this well, along. Holmes, here we are at the Royal Botanic Gardens. There's no doubt that this place is beautiful, but are you really intent on investigating the theft of the plants? Yes, of course. One thing at a time. Let's talk to the uh, the runner or the owner, or the operator, whatever. Don't touch anything else. Is that clear? Just go and get a bucket of fertilizer, and without turning it over this time. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. I am afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. We are investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? 
A small favor for a friend. Now to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens, and that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted to meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No, but I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house? Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. Albert, show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. How many people work here? Only myself, but occasionally two students, Albert, whom you have met, and Miss White. And we'll meet everybody shortly. It's just a matter of uh, running around investigation that we have to do. Esther, investigate, investigate. Here it is. This is the place where the stolen plants were exhibited. <coughs> Thank you. Is there something the matter? Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What tragedy are you referring to? My... the director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn. He died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... he was my father. Oh dear, our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. You say that he died here, in the large glass house? Holmes? Yes, just here, near the door to the colonial collection. He suffered a heart attack, just like that, so suddenly. It was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. <coughs> Of course, we understand. All right, so let's look around a bit and get some investigation. Here is a list of the stolen plants. Which will help us. Do not touch. The plants were here. All of them were stolen. That douche! <laughs> Anywho, let's... According to Albert... This is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. All right, let's get everything. The broken sign. This sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. There's some blood. blood. Someone fell violently against this sign, and they were injured in the clash. Most likely a head wound. The door was smashed at shoulder height. This door handle is new. It was recently changed. Aha, there they are. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. Soil. Yeah, yeah. Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. Somebody bumped into it. The traces are thinner in some places. These boot marks are fresh. It appears <coughs> as though someone was dragging their feet. The footprints reveal that someone staggered here. Okay, there's some more. Really? You're not gonna let me select it? What the fuck? Go from this side, maybe. No. The there. That was weird. Was breached near the handle. The door was forced from the inside of the colonial collection room. The handle was changed afterwards. I think we need to inspect the colonial collection. 
Doing so right now. The smell is strong. It is a detergent. These windows were perfectly cleaned. This broken fragment was the result of a heavy blow. A fragment of marble, most likely chipped from a statue or sculpture. So we gotta locate Part of this green statue. house was emptied and thoroughly cleaned. For what reason, I wonder? This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. Let's make sure we found everything. Before, I'm pretty sure that's all of it. Ah, broke a pot. There it is. That's what I was looking for. This pot was broken fairly recently. And put back up here. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. All right, so let's go imaginate what went down. Breaking the door. Knocking over the pot. And biting the biscuit. Mr. Dunn. This reconstruction reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident, or a murder then, I wonder? Ah, more and more is coming to light. Twas it an accident? Nothing's ever an accident. Okay, here's our first option. Got to perform an autopsy first. Got to find out what went down. Now I could do that. One second. Search archives. I think I might go do the autopsy right now. That way, we, when we come back to interview everybody, we'll have uh, more to talk to them about. Yeah, so all I got now, I gotta do, I gotta do that. Oh my god, Mr. Holmes. That's right on schedule, Mr. Holmes. Uh, sound like, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Lestrade. I asked Inspector Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then. All right, let's go say... Wait, let's see if he had any possessions. Always a good idea. This watch is of great value. A beautiful feather pen of a good make. A membership card for the London Crest Club. For Montague Dunn. And a letter. To Mr. F. Wayne, director of Wayne & Sons Printing Company. My friend, your posters for the great ex exhibition at Kew Gardens are very beautiful, but it's surely unnecessary to mention all of my staff. My name alone will be sufficient. What a dick. Taking credit. So yeah, basically I did nothing. My staff pissed. All right, let's check this guy out. 
First Hello, all, Mr. Dan. Let's carry out an external examination. Uh, let's check his face. There is an injury to the skull, most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. The vessels and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. There are no suspicious marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. Good thing we got uh, Watson here. No redness, stings, or bruises. Nothing suspicious here. So nothing involving now, his hands. Let us examine the internal organs. <laughs> this is where Watson comes in. See, this is so funny. These things look so... Like, they look hilarious. Like, look at the liver. The liver is enlarged. It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. Like, look at it. I don't even... This looks so fake. The liver tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. Just put it right back in place. Operation! Like, look at this. It looks like a stressed banana. Doesn't it? The stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. There is a small amount of content. It appears that he breakfasted lightly, only a short while before his death. Early morning, heart. Let's pick it up. The heart's blood vessels show no pathological signs. The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs. So the heart was untouched. Heart, so he's a bit of an alcoholic. The lungs are congested and edematous. The tissue on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged, most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. <laughs> Just slide right in, they click nicely into place. The like suspicions Lego. have been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning. Plant poisoning, to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. We should have oh! fallen the strand. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me murder of any kind appeals to you is that all we need to do no we also have the people working at kew gardens martin hamish and the son of the victim albert dunn and also miss white of whom we spoke with mr hamish should we bring them all here for interrogation no a few innocuous questions at kew will suffice as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs Yes, Watson. It is time now to open the doors. Even those in the staff building? I suppose that is necessary. We should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. You're enjoying this already, aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. Gets to reflex those muscles. Let's see what kind of deduction we can make. He was trapped. Don was poisoned after being trapped in a colonial collection room by the killer. Don was affected by inhaling a virul virulent vegetal poison. So that's all we have for now. Should we talk to Lestrade? Locked. No. <laughs> Even if we wanted to, we can't do anything about it. Find a plant that was used. All right, one second. You know what? I'm going to head over to Baker Street and access my archives and find what we know about this plant. Ah, shit. You know what? I shouldn't have done that. <coughs> I forgot. There's more evidence we need.
Okay, so I guess we'll just we're here. Let's just check it out. This is where I keep my post. Right. Rare plants. Right, we gotta find a list and where known locations and whatnot. Stolen plants list. Chemistry. Poisons and toxins. That no. That is that is Can't remember which one it was. Arsenic. Wounds. Criminalistics, martial arts, marks and symbols. Might be in a newspaper. Oh, the exhibition, right? I'm trying to remember which one it was. Great Blizzard, Gibraltar. <laughs> Might be in here. Art and architecture. Economic science. Technology. History. Medicine. That. No. Plant hormones. That is... No. Exotic plants. There you go. These plants have a certain toxicity in common. More or less variable. Dianea... Car oh, all those blah, blah, blah. Only the first three can be dangerous to humans. Particularly Florum Diabolica. But only under very specific conditions. The plant should react to a process of aggression. Against which it will tissue deadly spores. Here it is. Are you waking for it? You're looking for a key? We. Off. We. Oh, I don't know what, what I'm seeing in. Theft and murder the plant. The killers may be those who stole the exotic plants from the last exhibition. It's all possible. We're done here, though. <coughs> so we might as well go back to Kew Gardens. Because I'm missing, there's a lot of... Uh, There's, uh, there's a lot of, uh, evidence that I have to find. Excuse me. I'm sorry for the nasal congestion. It's not a good time to be doing this, but... Gotta get her done, son! Are you waking for it? Are you waking for it? Watson's motel drape suit. Very popular fabric. Okay, so let's talk. Should I talk to him again? Might as well. Get access to the keys. <laughs> 